Hello friends, today I'll be covering stale closures in react.useEffect and some of the bugs you may encounter because of it. In my previous video we talked about race conditions in useEffect. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. And if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it because it's a different type of bug that you'll experience with react.useEffect. But first I'd like to thank some of the new subscribers to the channel, so thank you Cambiata Jonas, Robert, Roy, Moulet, Tajaro 10 w Fami, Renato, Hey Tiffany White, Tanis, Harshit, Hardik, and Shimo. I'd like to give a big thanks for each one of you for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me, so thanks again. Now let's get back to the show. So what exactly is a stale closure bug? A stale closure can occur anytime that you have an asynchronous task, like this set interval here, inside of use effect. So that includes any type of asynchronous code. So set interval, set timeout, any sort of fetch requests, any type of callbacks, they can all produce this stale closure bug. So before we start digging in here, let's take a look at what this code does. Here we have a use effect that is gonna fire once when the component mounts, and then it's also going to fire uh, once when the component ends, and this is gonna be the unmount. And what the use effect is going to do is it's going to set up a set interval at one second, and then on unmount, it's just gonna clear that interval. And if we look at it in a browser, you can see that it started at zero and then ends on one. So now why does this happen? We can see here in our code that it's incrementing the count by one. So we should see it go from zero, one, two, three, and then continue to count every second. And this happens because use effect fires only once when the component's mounted. That's when the set interval is set up. And at that time, it creates a closure with the current value of count which just happens to be zero at that time. So even though we're updating the count here with this set count function, the closure actually has the count as zero the entire time. And that's one of the reasons why it's not recommended to do count plus one like this, but instead to use a function that takes the current state and then increments the state with plus one. Now, if we go back into our app, we can see that it's now counting the way we expected. So with this code, we don't have to worry about stale closures because even though set interval is still creating a closure, we're never reading count because we're passing in a function that's doing the math for us. But this solution doesn't always work because sometimes you need to conditionally update this value. And what I mean by that is if I were to say, if the count is greater than 10, I want to actually stop counting. So I'll just exit here. So even though our set interval is gonna keep ticking away, we're gonna stop counting once we reach 10. And that's gonna look something like this. So I can see that it's already counted and in my code, I'm expecting it to count to 10 and then stop. But of course, as we can see, once it hits 11 and 12, it's gonna keep going. So I'm gonna slip in a debug line here, just a little console log and the count, uh, just so we can see what's going on in the browser console. So now as I watch the count go up here, I'm looking over in the debug console over here and I can see that the count is zero every time. And that of course is because of our stale closure. And one solution is this, is that we can take count and add it as a dependency to use effect. And what this is going to do is it's going to cause use effect to re-render every time the count changes. Now, this is not a good solution for the problem that we have here because we don't want set interval to be unmounting and mounting. Uh, we want it to fire exactly every one second. So this would mess up our timing and it's, it's just not a great solution for the problem that we have here. Another solution to this is to create a reference value and that'll be something different than this count that's inside of the closure. And you've probably seen useRef in some tutorials that reference HTML elements in the DOM, but we can actually use it for our case here. So what I'm gonna do, separate from our actual count, which is using state, I'm gonna create another count, which I'm gonna call count ref, and that's going to use a ref. And I'm gonna set that to zero also, just like count. And then here where I'm setting the count, I also want to set the count ref. So I'm just gonna say, count ref equals or count ref dot current equals count ref dot current plus one. Uh, current is where it actually has the value of zero. 
And then inside of my set interval, any place where I'm reading count, I want to change that to read the count ref instead. Because count is going to continue to be stale here, so we never want to actually read it. Okay, so back to the code. And we can see here we're counting up again. And I'm hoping that as soon as we hit 10, it's going to stop. Okay, well, it looks like it stopped at 11. So we can see here it counted all the way from 0 to 11. So that is what we wanted to happen. Now there's just a minor bug in my code. So I'll just say greater than or equals here. And I'm going to go back and check just to make sure that we do go to 10. And there we go. We're stopped at 10 here. And I can see it continues to count, but the count stops at 10. So just to recap again what's going on, use effect is fired once on component mount. That's when the set interval is set up. At that time, it creates a closure holding the value count, which is at zero. That closure doesn't get updated, so the count remains at zero the entire time. But what we can do is we can use this use ref here and create a reference to a value that we can read from. So we no longer want to read from count because we know that this is going to be a stale value. But we can read from count ref. So anywhere within set interval here, we want to make sure that we never ever read from count. It's okay to update count using this method, but if we want this value, we need to use the count ref current and not count. And just a couple of tips before we close out. So calling this set count method as we are doing here uh, will cause the component to re-render. But any values inside of use ref updating the, the count ref dot current will not cause the component to re-render. I know I mentioned closures a lot in this video, and you should have a pretty good understanding of how closures work to be able to get around this bug. I haven't created a video on closures. If you would like to see one, um, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you have questions regarding this solution, um, ask them in the comments below or on Twitter. And of course, if you have a better solution, I'd love to see that in the comments or on Twitter. And if you're new and subscribing to the channel, remember to click the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube won't notify you when new videos come out. And thanks for making it to the end of the video. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me, and I'll see you in the next video.